Hey, what's up, people? I hope y'all are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Galaxy S21 Ultra camera. We're gonna go over a few tips and tricks to help you get the most out of this spectacular camera. Now, these are also applicable to the S21 and S21 Plus, so if you have one of those two other phones, make sure you watch this video. You'll be able to take a thing or two. Let's go ahead and dive into it with some basic tips and tricks. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is a simple little trick, and that is how to quick launch the camera. All you have to do is double press the side key or the power button, however you have it configured. So just double press and boom, you're in the camera. And you can do this from anywhere in the phone. And if you double press it again, it will switch to the front double press it again, it'll go back to the back. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has a ton of different modes to shoot in. So to quickly go over the modes, we have single take, which I'm gonna talk about here in just a bit. We have photo, which is just your automatic photo mode, automatic video mode. And then if you go under more, we have a ton of other modes like AR Doodle. We have pro photo mode, panorama, food, night, portrait mode, portrait video mode, pro video mode, super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse and director's view. Director's view is a cool new mode that allows you to take streams of video from all of the cameras and then you can select one of the rear cameras to record at, at a time while also simultaneously recording from the front facing camera. So if you wanna customize your modes and then add some down here to you know launch on the fly, all you have to do is tap this plus symbol and now you can drag the modes around. If you want to add them to the, the quick launch bar down here, just select the mode that you wanna add and then drag it to the bar and then drop it. And if you want to rearrange this larger portion, it's the same thing, just hold down on the mode and then drag it around to where you want. Once you have the layout, you know, how you want it, just tap save and that's it. Another tip I wanna share with you is how to lock your focus and exposure. And there's two ways to go about doing this. If you want to do it in your standard photo or video mode, you can just touch where you wanna focus and expose and then hit that lock button. And then you can drag the sun on the bottom here to lower the exposure to the left or raise the exposure to the right. The other way that you can lock your focus and exposure is by going into one of the pro modes. So we'll go into pro photo mode and then touch where you want to focus, hit the lock button, and then take your finger and drag the inner circle out of the other circle. So now we have two different circles. We have one controlling our exposure, as you can see, and we have one controlling our focus. This also works for pro video mode. So if I go into pro video and then touch the screen where I want to focus, lock it, I can separate the two points. Another really cool thing about the S21 Ultra camera is the improved 100x space zoom combined with lockdown mode. We got some people over here on that dock. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so you can see how far away that dock is. Let's go ahead and go to 10x. 10x is actually pretty close, but let's go to 100. You gotta try to keep it steady and boom, you can see in the little window up here, it turns yellow and you have like a little hand. That means it's in lockdown mode. So you look how stable that is. Let me go ahead and take a shot. Boom. And he looked at me. That was, that was straight up creeper status. Like we made eye contact. Oh, they sh one complaint I've had with Android phones as a whole, not just particularly Samsung, is the skin smoothing effect that gets applied whenever you take a selfie or just take a picture of someone's face. And this is what it looks like without any tweaks whatsoever. So, boom. And if you want to disable all of the skin smoothing effects, just tap on this little wand up here in the top right, go under face, and then just toggle off all of the beauty effects. I'm gonna go back, and this is with all of the beauty effects toggled off. So, boom. Let me know in the comment section which photo looks better to you. And if you're curious, this is also applicable to portrait mode and even in video. So if you notice that your skin is just way too waxy, just tap on that little magic wand, whether you're in portrait mode or video mode and turn off those beauty effects. So Scene Optimizer isn't new, but if you're new to Samsung, it might be new to you. It works really good. Basically, it uses AI to optimize the scene to give you better dynamic range, better colors, and properly expose the image, but sometimes it does mess up. Let me show you how to disable it as well as a shot with Scene Optimizer versus without. So here's a good example of scene detection working. So as you can see, the leaves are nice and green, and right here in the corner, we have like a little yellow plant. If I tap on that plant, it turns Scene Optimizer off, and you can see things became a lot more muted. 
So if you notice that the colors are a little bit weird or the exposure is a little off, just toggle off scene detection and take another photo to see if it's any better. For the most part, I would just leave it on. If you wanna do things like those cool moon shots, which I'm gonna show you later, you're gonna to wanna to leave this on. The S21 Ultra has various aspect ratios and resolutions to choose from for photo and video. To get to them, all you have to do is tap up here where it says three x four. You can see we can go all the way up to 108 megapixels on the main sensor. And we can also shoot in three x four, nine by 16, one by one, and full. Each of these aspect ratios will reduce your file size as well as your megapixel count. So if you want the most that the sensor has to offer, go to 108 megapixels. So if you want to change your frame rate or your video resolution, you can tap up here where it says full HD auto and you have an array of frame rates to choose from, including HD at 30 frames per second, all the way up to 8K at 24 frames per second. And this is the auto mode. If you wanna get even more control, more resolutions, and more frame rates, go into pro mode. So if we go into pro video mode, you can see at the top here, we have our typical aspect ratios. This is in portrait mode, which is why the aspect ratios are a little funky. But if we tap on where it says full HD, you can see we have even more resolutions and frame rates to choose from. It's kind of crazy. Like if I tap on 8K24 and then switch the phone to landscape and then tap on the aspect ratios, I can do cinema 21 by nine now in 8K, which I couldn't before in auto. So you have a lot more flexibility with pro mode, of course, and you get all of your manual controls, including audio controls. So you can do omni audio pickup. You can record audio from the front mic the rear mic, you can plug in a USB mic, or you can use a Bluetooth mic. So there's a lot of control here for Pro Video. Now, let's go ahead and dive into Pro Photo. And you have the same controls here for your manual control. So you have your ISO control, your shutter speed, you have exposure compensation, focus. And if you tap on focus, you'll notice that you have focus peaking even, which will turn green as you see. And another benefit of pro photo mode is the fact that you get, if we go into the settings and then go under format and advanced options, raw. So the new thing with the Galaxy S21 is that it shoots 12-bit raw, which before I believe it was 10-bit raw. So you're getting a better raw format with more information there to tweak and post. If you guys wanna see a dedicated video breaking down pro mode and pro video mode, let me know in the comment section. So if you wanna record a motion photo, you can tap on this little button up here at the top and then hit the shutter button and it's going to take a little bit of motion with your shot. Now, if I go into the gallery and then tap on where it says view motion photo, I can create a GIF or GIF from the motion photo and you can upload this to Instagram or to other social media outlets. When it comes to zooming, of course, you can just use the uh, various lenses down here to zoom or you can press and hold on the lenses and then you can scroll to zoom, which is gonna be a little bit smoother if you wanna have like a cool zooming effect. I mean, it's a little jerky, but I don't know. If you want to really pinpoint your zoom, you can use this way, or you can go into the settings and then go down to shooting methods, tap on where it says press volume keys two, and then change that to zoom in and out. Now, if we go back and then use the volume rocker, we can actually use the volume keys to zoom in and out, which is gonna be a little easier to zoom, especially if you're looking for a specific zoom amount. If you wanna take a selfie or a group photo by setting a timer, you can tap on the timer up here at the top and you have two, five, and 10 seconds to choose from, or you can use one of the gestures or voice commands to take a photo. So if I switch over to the selfie camera here and then hold up my hand, you can see a timer pops up and it takes a selfie. Or I can say things like cheese and it will take a photo. And if you wanna to get to these commands, go into your settings, scroll down until you see shooting methods and you have voice commands right there that you can toggle on and off. So if you need some help with framing or just composing a shot, you can go into your settings and then turn on shot suggestions as well as grid lines. Grid lines is going to give you your rule of thirds lines and then shot suggestions will give you a little point on the screen. So if I point away, you can see there's like a little gray circle right there. Just point the center of your screen on that gray circle. And now it's going to tell me that this is the best area 
for this shot. And then you can just take your photo. So the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra feature tracking autofocus. So if we go into the settings and then scroll down until you see tracking autofocus, just toggle that on. And then now when you touch a subject, you'll see a box form around it. And then if I move the phone around, you can see that box will follow that subject. This also works in video, but you're limited to 1080p only. So obviously the sun has gone down. We got to change the scenery, but that's okay because I got a few things to show you when it comes to the night mode, especially that moon shot. So let's find a moon and let me show you this really cool feature. So what you're going to want to do is be in the auto photo mode. You're going to go into the 100X, find the moon. You'll see it locked down. Boom. And just take that photo. Okay, I kind of messed that one up. We're gonna do it again. Find the moon, it'll lock down, and then just snap the photo. Just like that. And it's like I said earlier, if you don't have scene detection on, this won't work. So make sure you leave that on if you want that cool moon shot. So when it comes to saving space on your phone and getting better compression for your photos, you can go into the settings and then go under format and advanced options and then enable HEIF photos. This is gonna give you the best compression for your pictures as well as save some space on your phone. However, be mindful that you do have to have a compatible computer and editing software in order to view them. For the most part, you should be fine though with anything modern. So you can do the same thing for video. So if you want to save some space on your phone as well as get some better compression, go into settings once you're under the video mode, go under advanced recording options, and then you're going to want to enable high efficiency videos. This is gonna be a much um, better compressed format when it comes to recording. So it's gonna give you better quality as well as save a ton of space. Now, while you're in here, if you wanna get the most dynamic range in your video, turn on HDR 10 plus, especially in like bright sunlit uh, scenes. This is gonna come in clutch. But again, if you don't have an HDR 10 plus compatible monitor or display, it's gonna come back really flat. So just make sure that if you're sharing this photo there, either on another Samsung device or they have an HDR 10 plus compatible monitor. Um, sometimes the colors might come out a little funky. And in that case, just go into your settings and turn it off. I would say for the masses and for the general public, you probably just want to leave this setting turned off. But if you're more of an advanced shooter and you really want to tinker around, you can go ahead and turn it off. One of the biggest complaints with the S20 Ultra was the minimal close focusing distance. And Samsung has actually come up with a genius way to fix that with Focus Enhancer. Let me show you. So as you can see, as I move closer to the flower, it will turn on. And then when I move further away, it turns off. One more time. As I move closer, it turns on, allowing me to get really close, like almost macro shots. And it's really sharp. Yeah, and it's really sharp. So if I move away, it turns off. So that was several tips and tricks for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I have quite a few more, so if you wanna see a part two to this video, let me know. I have like some tips and tricks for the food mode, as well as some 8K video, maybe bust into the photo and video editor on the phone. So if you wanna see that video, let me know in the comment section. If you were able to take something from this video, uh, drop me a thumbs up. Other than that, uh, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. So make sure you watch this video I know, I'm gonna get shit on, I just know it. So another really cool thing about the S20, S20. <laughs> Those birds are loud as F. The kid almost busted his ass. Oh my goodness. Good? What the hell was that? I don't know, I thought it was shit. I got scared for a minute. Oh, something wet just hit me. What the fuck was that?